What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to part two with the deck I said I would never play, which is Boros Cyclers. Um, we're testing it for science and science is being like, nah, it's not that good, um, which is kind of what I expected, but we're giving it the fair shot. We're giving it a full six games. We're going to see how it does in all six games. Uh, so far, we've lost everyone. Good. Good start. Uh, so we'll see how we do. Uh, as I mentioned also in the first video, um, well, first of all, if you haven't watched the first video, you should watch the first video, uh, mostly because we... Uh, we go over the deck a little bit more in detail there, so you can kind of see exactly what all's in here. Uh, but as I mentioned there, we do have our new Patreon rewards out as well. So if you're interested in picking those up, uh, they're cycling down below me, but you can go to our Patreon link uh, to, to check all that stuff out. Uh, let's do this. Um, we are against a deck that doesn't interact all that well. Hey, plus sides. Um, I don't, I don't know if I should just cycle this. Can't cycle that. Um, I'm gonna attack and see what they do. My assumption is they don't block. They're thinking about it though. Yeah, okay. Didn't think so. Let's get you out there. Uh yeah. Oh, this is the like Simic version, I suppose. Um Usually they don't run too many of the uh, the search your library lands for lands. That's what I meant. Um, but you know that's cool. Uh, okay, let's um, I guess technically we should have killed that, but uh, we'll put first strike here. Technically, we could have killed that, and then they would have been off Garuda for a turn. Um, so that was a bit of a mistake, but it's all good. Time to Garuda. One, two, three, four, five. Are they not going to this turn? Am I wrong? They could have. Oh, they're just dungeon geisting. Well, that's kind of fine. Really? That's what you're doing? Um, okay. Well, hmm. Let's do this. Let's put you on the bottom. And we'll do this. I'm actually okay to trade these off. I'm sure they're going to here, and that's fine. Just to save themselves some damage, but... I don't care as much now. Uh, we're not really on the life game plan. Um, possible we should have left up the Justice Strikes, so that way, you know, when they Garuda, if they Garuda. Wow, okay. They're holding off on Garuda pretty hard, uh, which is interesting to me. I kind of wonder why they are doing that. I don't really think they have to. I mean, they could just go for it. Okay. Just 
throw you out there. Let's cycle this. Now we can kill the Sphinx. I mean, now, like, they have to go for it, right? Man, they are playing this very, very slowly. Um, so we're going to bounce this back to my hand. Still doesn't matter. We can kill that. Draw a land, we can do kind of play this and that. But we'll see. Yeah. Well, that is a land. Let's do this. Let's get you out there. Let's get you out there. Go ahead and do this now just so we can attack in. Could we have. We probably could have just won, right? That was a mistake. We missed lethal. We could have attacked with both, and then Zenith Flare. That is known as a huge misplay. We could have actually won. Whoops. Well, that's a lot of damage. Entirely my bad. We could have actually won the game. Could have won the game. Got a spark double. I assume they just do this again. Fiend Artisan in this list is awesome. They missed. Oh, they just got a stinger. Sure. Uh, let's cycle. That's not helpful. Should have done this first. I'm misplaying. I'm misplaying. We should have deck thinned. Uh, that was a mistake. For that, let's do this. Let's do this. Kind of mad that we missed lethal. Also, it is what it is. So, like, you know. All right, given the right card, we could actually win. We actually won. All right. Go us. We got a game with the Boros Cyclers deck. We keep hovering around this Platinum 1 as well. All right. I mean, we got there. Uh, they so easily could have Garuda'd like way earlier. Um, I, I think you just go for the Garuda when you have it, so it seems weird they didn't. Um, hey, I, I don't know their hand. All right, game two, let's do it. We'll keep. All right, we'll get the fox out. We'll find out what we're up against. <sighs> Red, good. So good. All right. Uh, mono red? Probably, maybe. Hmm. See what they want to do. What in the world? Um, interesting. Let's spit out another. Thankfully, we can kill that, so I'm not like super worried. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Deck thinning is important, guys. Um, I'll put that on the bottom. 
That's not a bad draw. Uh, yeah, and let's attack. Now we have instant speed fire prophecy in hand at the very least. That's a problem. Don't like that, don't like that, but yeah, okay. Let's do this and scry. I think we'll keep that. And we'll attack in. Um, so depending on what they do, like if they play a creature, we Prophecy or Zenith Flare. I think it depends on what it is. Yeah. That dies to flare. Oh, no, 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 cancel. That dies to fire prophecy. We'll put the land down and draw this. Blah. So many lands. Um, I think we have to play this out, though, because we do need to keep threatening. Like, they're going to need to do something about it kind of thing. And we get to leave Zenith Flare up. Uh, granted, only hits for two, so there's that. Looks like they're stuck on land, though, too. All right. Was kind of bots. Um, all right, we might have it. I don't know. I think they could just got stuck on land though. That's kind of unfortunate. They were a very Boros aggro deck though. We get there. Woo! Let's just attack in. Okay, well, we got two wins so far. That's fine. Pretty good. Better than expected. Uh, let's go with game three and see what we can do. Oh, what's our reward? Back for more, huh? That's actually really cool. I like that card. Okay, uh, let's do it. <sighs> Maybe we'll get three wins. That would be pretty awesome. We'll keep. On a mulligan down. It's a better chance. Feel bad for the opponent, but... You know, obviously, when you see your opponent mulligan and you've got, like, a keepable hand... Oh, twice. Okay, now I feel really bad. All right. We'll not count that. We'll go to game three. Uh, always feel bad when you mulligan down and you just... You're not... The luck's not with you. You just don't get it. Uh, feels bad. I understand that feeling very, very well. <laughs> As most Magic players do, that's not an uh, exclusive thing by any means. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this kind of a similar hand. A little bit more removal, and we have the Yadaro, which is cool. Uh, guys, let me know, obviously. Um, there's... So I've been toying with the idea of, like, I can't do it very often, but every once in a while I would love to do a live stream just so I can like hang out with you guys, maybe like on a once a week basis, probably only be like an hour, maybe hour and a half, but it'd be a fun way to just kind of hang out with you guys. Um, I've not done too much live streaming. I've done a little bit, but I would like to get your opinions uh, and just see you know, if that's something you guys would actually take part in. If you guys would join, jump on, say, hey, what's up? How's it hanging? We'd certainly appreciate it. If 
they attack, we just block. Because it's going to die either way. And no matter what, they're going to have a way to kill that. So we kind of have to do that. Uh, mm. No land, huh? Let's try again. They really want that dead. It's kind of interesting. Um, put you out there. And we'll cycle you, Dario. Get a counter. Okay. So next turn we can cycle. If this doesn't die, we can cycle this. Or we can just play this and then we'll have Justice Strike up. Seriously. I know this doesn't look right. The problem that I run into is like if they just sacrifice it or do anything with that, they're going to kill it anyway. So it's like, yeah, it sucks. Maybe we could have cycled our way out of that, but I didn't feel strongly about it. Uh, let's do that and we'll pass. I keep cycling on my turn, by the way. I don't need to. That's one thing that I have to keep in mind. Sure. Let's do this. If they have a shock, that's going to hurt. This might be incorrect, by the way, like playing this out here, but. Please don't have a shock. Okay, we are officially out of shock range. Ooh, that's not bad. They're going to get a big hit in. Um, part of the reason I was being more aggressive there is because if they wanted to block, we there's a slim chance they could have blocked and then we would have gotten rid of the murderous rider. Um, as it stands, they just kind of, oh, they're not going to equip. I thought they would just equip this and then kind of go for it. Uh, they, oh, uh, well, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. I mean, thankfully we can kill that. We wait to kill it, by the way, if they want to equip this. Make them use the mana first. See what they do. Fires of Invention. This is a very strange deck. Um, looks like they're going to kill something here. Sure. That is just a weird one. I... Let's play you out. Just so we're draining now. Here's my thing, it takes three cards to drain for one. You know what I'm saying? Like, Witch's Oven takes two. <laughs> That's not bad. Um, just doesn't feel right. I will say, even if we lose, this has been a pretty decent game. Like, we're not just outright losing, at least not yet. Um, 
And we do have Justice Strike backup. Now the problem that we run into is Justice Strike doesn't by itself deal with um, murderous riders, which we know the opponent has. Um, so we'd have to double up, which feels bad. Uh, I'm also trying to keep two creatures on the field so we can continuously pressure. So like here, we're going to run into a problem because they can just play out that murderous rider. Don't like that. Yep. Yep. I mean, we can kill it, but it's going to take two cards to do so. If we draw a Zenith Flare, that would be sweet. That is not a Zenith Flare. Um, I hate that, but we kind of have to do that. <sighs> also, because of that, the wording on the card, they get the lifelink every time that happens, which sucks. Hmm. Yep. That's bad. They just start equipping everything. This is cool in combination with uh, with Fires of Invention. And so now they're double striking lifelink, double striking lifelink trampler. I mean. We keep getting vague hopes. Um, but I think we have to kill this, which feels really bad. Because that's what's giving them extra cards. Hmm. Interesting, interesting game. One I think we are not meant to win. That's okay. We don't have to win everything. Yep. Gain your extra life. Swing in. Yep. Nope, nope. No way we can do it. <laughs> yeah, you got another one? Here it is, guys. Feeling two damage for the price of three cards. That's my thing, is like you have to have multiple cards to do anything. And that's just terrible. Um, yeah, we lost. All right, so here's my thought. <clears throat> um, yes, we won a couple games. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, which were fun. Uh, and yes, it feels great to cycle something away, deal some damage, gain a little bit of life, throw out a 1-1. One -one. Feels great. But... You rely on so many cards to work in tandem that I don't think it's worth it. Because if you bust a hole in any piece of this, like say, you know, they take out the, your 1 1 token generator. Okay, well, you now no longer can fill up the board. Um, and everything that you want to put on the board also has cycling. And so you get into a weird position where you're, it's almost like it's not a Voltron strategy by any means, but it feels a little bit like. You know, you're kind of relying on this one guy out there to do a ton of work. If it dies, now you have to start all over. Um, and so I don't like it for that reason. Um, Yadaro, very sweet in this deck. I will say you're able to get it out uh, pretty quick. We didn't get it out in any of these games, but I think the first game that we played in the first video we did. Um, and that can happen like pretty quickly. So that's fun. I, I like that. Um, 
However, this just does not feel good enough to me. Um, and maybe I'm wrong. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure I misplayed a lot during all this, so feel free. Let me know where I missed uh, opportunities. I know we uh, we missed lethal on one game, uh, but we actually did win it still, so that felt okay. But I don't know. This one isn't for me, uh, if I'm honest. I don't like this one all that much, but if you guys do, then hey, it was worth it. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, as always, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. We really do appreciate it. All the support lately has been phenomenal. Uh, so thank you guys. Seriously, uh, it means a lot to us. And uh, I will see you in the next gameplay video. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.